دكتور أيمن رفاعي رئيس وحدة أمراض وزرع الكلى مركز أمراض الكلى والمسالك البولية الحقيقة أنا مشارك النهاردة في مؤتمر نفرو أليكس بموضوع مهم جدا هو موضوع كيني ترانسبلانتيشن فور بيشنس ويد سيستميك لوبس إريثروماتوس يعني as we all know that systemic lupus is a serious disease that usually end up with renal failure and those patients who develop renal failure needs to be on renal replacement therapy uh, renal replacement therapy may be hemodialysis peritoneal dialysis or kidney transplantation i'm going to concentrate on kidney transplantation and there are certain special issues that should be considered for such group of patients those patients have several special comorbidities. They are subjected to cardiovascular diseases, serious infections, uh, and bone osteodystrophy, especially a vascular necrosis of the joints and especially the hip joint. Also, those patients have special consideration in their work up before transplantation. As we know that there is a variant of systemic lupus, which is the antiphospholipid syndrome. And this syndrome characterized by arterial and venous thrombosis. So we have to search for the lupus anticoagulants before transplantation in the sera of those patients. And if they are present, those patients are liable to graft artery or vein thrombosis that end up with a catastrophic uh, graft thrombosis. So we should screen those patients for anticardiolibine and lupus anticoagulants beside the other uh, thrombophilia screen, protein C, protein S, antithrombin C, etc. Uh, this is uh, a serious issue because if we find these antibodies those patients should be anticoagulation anticoagulated prior and post transplantation to avoid this catastrophic complication on the other hand during the workup we may find positive cross match and the positive cross match between the donor and recipient could be false positive due to the presence of autoantibodies in the sera of such patients. So we should perform what's called auto cross match between the patient's serum and the patient's lymphocytes. Or we use a flow cytometric cross match. Uh, another concern, when to transplant such patients. In the past, there was a recommendation that those patients should stay on dialysis for a long time maybe at least six months to uh, burn out the disease activity on one hand and to uh, uh, some patients may recover from the lupus and to give a chance for recovery but nowadays all the reports uh, encourage prompt transplantation to avoid the complications on dialysis even preemptive transplantation. So, for the timing, as soon as possible is better than staying on dialysis. Another concern, which is what about the recurrence of lupus nephritis after transplantation? Actually, in comparison with the other glomerular diseases, lupus nephritis recurs infrequently, with a percentage between two to nine percent. And even recurrent cases, the instance of graft failure due to recurrence is low, simply because the patient is receiving the immunosuppression uh, that protect against rejection are the same immunosuppression used to treat lupus. So there is no impact on the uh, graft failure. Uh, but we should know that those patients subjected for a long time 
for immune suppression even before transplantation. So, so we should uh, avoid heavy immunosuppression in order to avoid serious infections. And the major complication or the frequent complication, as I said before, which is the vascular necrosis of the hip joint that usually necessitate hip replacement. Uh, what I want to conclude that number one, lupus nephritis is a serious disease that ends in this end stage renal failure. All the renal replacement therapies are available, but we prefer transplantation. The timing of transplantation is as soon as possible. Avoid heavy immunosuppression. The recurrence is low and um, we should put in consideration the thrombophilia screen to avoid the catastrophic uh, graft loss secondary to renal artery or vein thrombus. Thank you.